There's my helper for the summer, my daughter. This is uh, what she really looks like. Hi everyone, Steve Zara here from Zara Dental Lab and we are back. Finally, it has been, it's been a crazy year, I think for all of us around the world. Um, unexplainable. I hope everyone is well. I decided in this video I was going to showcase some acrylic that I've um, personally used and I see that other people around the world use it. My friends, uh, Martina Andersova, she's got some brilliant posts and she's using this same acrylic. You can see in these pictures how she uses the acrylic to make some brilliant orthodontic appliances. I also want to showcase in this video a very talented orthodontic technician, Sylvia Asmolska, and she's got some brilliant work. And one of the things I noticed about her appliances, the way she does her acrylic, is she's blending the colors together. And that really showcases you how Dentorum Monomer, when you're making two colors um, right next to each other, how it works. I've used other colored monomers from different companies and what happens is sometimes if you have a, you know, a blue and a yellow and you put them right next to each other, you'll get green. Um, red and blue, you get purple. But with Dentorum, it's interesting that if you put the colors right next to each other, you get these really sweet color blends. As I'm actually working on the appliances, I'm going to be narrating. So I'm going to give you some tips on what my thoughts are of, about this acrylic. Um, some, some tips that are going to help you be a better technician. Enjoy. All right, one of the very first things I notice about this acrylic that I just love is the vibrant colors. I can't express to you how cool this color is. Um, it's an orange neon. It does not glow, but it's just such an eye-popping orange color. My daughter, who's actually doing the filming in this video, she said, I can almost taste the oranges, which was I thought was kind of funny because I was, when I was making a retainer, I was just like, yeah, you're right. My first tip about this acrylic, what I noticed about Dentorum compared to other acrylics is that you, you almost have to use a little bit more acrylic to um, make it thick enough. And this isn't a bad thing, it's just you just need a little bit more. Curing pressure is about 22 to 24 pounds, pretty standard. It takes about 10 minutes to fully cure, which it does take a little bit longer than some other acrylics, but not a problem. I love my Kratex wheels. I can't express to you if how much they save me time, money, energy. Um, I've been using them for over 20 years. It's a rubberized hard wheel. It really does a fantastic job about getting your acrylic down to a manageable trim. Unlike a stone wheel, if you accidentally hit the wires, it's not gonna do any damage. Time-wise trimming, you can see how long this takes. This is pretty much in real time.
For those of you who've made it this far in the video, I, I can't express to you how much this color is so cool. Um, it, 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 the video doesn't do its justice at all. I am recording my voice watching this video and I'm just like, man, the color is just so much better than that. So if you see, if you like what you see right now, you'll love it when you're using it. Another fact about this acrylic is I think in my own experience, it seems that it's a little harder than other acrylics. This isn't a bad thing. Hard is usually a good thing when it comes to acrylics. It just um, it adds a little bit more time into trimming, um, but we're talking about seconds. Overall, you're gonna love this monomer acrylic. Um, the variety of patterns that you can make, the colors without them blending together like I described in the beginning with my two Instagram friends. And hey, make sure that you check them out and tell them that you saw them in this video and uh, give them a like and follow. Links to both their channels will be in my description in the bottom of this video. I'm using an E cutter burr in this video. I'm looking for a, about a 2.5, 2.5 millimeter taper all the way around equally. I'm trimming my acrylic for maximum comfort for the patient, not for myself. Please hit the like button if you like this video, you got something out of it, and make sure you subscribe. See you in the next one.